I recently started a very silly project. What? Me? <laughs> I decided to draw a 32 by 32 grid every single day um, until I am no longer 32. I wanted it to be a kind of exploration of if the ends justify the means because every single one of these looks pretty much the same but I want to get there, I want to draw it in a different way every time. And so a few people asked me if I will be able to think of enough ways and I think I can do this. How many ways are there to draw a 32 by 32 grid? And my initial gut thought gut thought was that it would be 32 squared, so 1024, um, because that's all of the little unit lines that this is made of, and then factorial, you know, you you decide where the first line goes, and then, you know, you, you've got 1024 choices for that, then you need to decide where the second line goes, so you've got 1023 choices for that, and so we, we, we factorial it down. But then my good friend Sophie McLean very gently pointed out that I have made a fence post error blah, 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 blah. <laughs> to draw a 32 by 32 grid you do need to draw 33 vertical you know full lines and 33 horizontal lines it is fun to be wrong in maths sometimes oh fence posts you got me again and I imagine depending on how you define it there are probably a few other different numbers that you could come up with on how many ways there are are to draw a 32 by 32 grid. Then I have to ask myself, how many ways are there to draw a 32 by 32 grid without taking my pen off the paper? So in one single continuous line. And that one I can answer. It is exactly zero. <laughs> all around the edge here, I don't know if you can see the vertices, they all have three lines coming out of them. Corner has two, all of the internal ones have four, but these edge ones all have three. And there are quite a few of them. And if what you're trying to draw has more than two odd vertices, you just won't be able to draw it without lifting your pen off the paper. This is called an Eulerian path, one of the many, many, many things named after Euler. Um, so sometimes it's also called traversable, um, which I think will help differentiate it from all of the other Euler things. And I really do think paths are a cool concept mathematically. How many ways are there to get from A to B? Can you do it without doubling back over yourself? They're a cool concept practically. How can I make nature more accessible to people around me? Palettes. It is often possible to find palettes for free. And philosophically, like I say, does the path that we take make a difference? if everything ends up being the same in the end. This showed up in an unexpected way for me recently. Um, when I was thinking about the platonic solids, beautiful set of shapes, there's only five of them, you're probably familiar with them, they look like this. One second. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna use some balloons in this video, there will be no popping, I will try and keep the squeaking noises to a minimum. So, if you take a cube and you draw it onto a balloon, <laughs> okay, hopefully you can see we've got like a cube around the balloon here. It has six faces, it's got eight vertices, it's got 12 edges. Um, I am now going to, without the noise, pop the balloon. Oh, that's cool. The Sharpie's like reacted with the, the balloon material and it's given it like sharp edges uh, on the cube. Okay. So here's my deflated balloon cube, and it has a hole here on the bottom face. And what I'm gonna do is just stretch it out. Okay, maybe I should have let the Sharpie dry first. But this is what's called a Schlegel diagram. Um, here are the Schlegel diagrams for all of the other platonic solids. And they are really useful for deciding if you're gonna have one of these Eulerian paths, if you can make your way around the platonic solids um, hitting every edge exactly once. Very subtly different from the Hamiltonian paths, which is going round and hitting every vertex exactly once, but you don't need to go along all of the edges. Every single platonic solid has a Hamiltonian path where you can hit all of the vertices, only one platonic solid has an Eulerian path where you can hit all of the edges exactly once. Feel free to think about which one of these it is. And, spoilers, it's the octahedron. 
which means if you wanted to make a modelling balloon platonic solid and you limited yourself to only one balloon, the only one that you could do is the octahedron. I need a modelling balloon plump. Get, get slow. Let's go. Yeah, I've been awake for also oh very long. Welcome to my humble abode. Let's make an octahedron out of balloon. Like many good things in maths, I was like, oh, this is cool. I wonder if anyone's written a paper about it before. And of course, the domains and Viheart have. So check that out if you want more info. There's like instructions, which uh, I did not use. So here is a single modeling balloon octahedron. And here's one I made a while back, which um, kind of shrunk down a little bit, which is pretty cute. If you enjoyed coming along on this chaotic journey um, along this mathematical path with me, and you are watching this video within the first, say, 36 hours of it being uploaded, there is a good chance that you could vote for me in the big internet math off, boop, 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 boop. Um, which you should know about anyway. It's a cool maths community thing. So, um, every day in July? A lot of the days in July. On the A periodical, two mathematicians are trying to pitch their interesting maths thing and then you can vote from I think eight in the morning till eight in the evening on that day um, and it's an instant knockout thing and we're playing for the title of world's most interesting mathematician of the 16 or so people I asked who were available and free during July. <laughs> The calibre of entries so far has been amazing, so it's a really, really tough decision. Um, but enjoy voting for something where both of the options are great. <laughs> Other than that, if you would like to afford me more time to make these ridiculous maths videos, uh, then you can support me on Patreon, that would be super appreciated. And now I have half an hour to edit and upload this video, why do I live my life like this? Maths!